There is no bad way to get other women. Today I just feel like speaking about Jesus. There is nobody greater than Jesus. Lift up your hands, somebody, before we start. I feel like something is moving. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is anointing the sons of the latter house, the sons of obedience. Bagabasa. Jesus. Nobody great. Nobody great. We should do just for 30 seconds. Somebody lift up your hands and start to sing to the Lord and say, There's no bad who is greater than you. Sing to the Lord like you feel it. Say something to the Lord because God is about to do something in this place. We are about to witness what Stephen has witnessed. so blessed to tonight see my father here ministering with me and my boy here ministering with me I think something great is going to happen let me appreciate everyone who prayed for this day it is because you were there touch your neighbor and say neighbor J as you as tell them like you feel it and say Jesus is Lord I want you to preach with me as time goes you know, I think I'm gonna go some two three four five years and now and God will bless us you know I'm here to do something simple it's simple Preaching, speaking the word of God. Simple. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ask your neighbor and say, Neighbor, are you, are you ready to listen to the word? <laughs> the topic is divided into three, what can I say, categories. So. We have Jesus. Yeah. We have Christ. We have Lord. We have Jesus, we have Christ, we have Lord. Let me try to break something and after I want to speak about Jesus. Jesus is a name that he was given. Jesus is a human name. It's a name of a human. It comes from the Hebrew word is translated from the Hebrew word Yeshua and goes to English translated Joshua which means the Lord is salvation and then it goes to the Greek which brings us back to Jesus but it's Jesus which is translated Jesus the Lord is salvation. And when we speak, 
going to the Old Testament. Hence, we know that the Old Testament consists of typologies, shadows, metaphors, figures, allegories, and different things that were actually demonstrating the upcoming New Testament. I called Prophet Moses, he said, one day, the Old Testament is pregnant of the New Testament. Is the New Testament unrevealed? The son was not yet born. And we typologically get a guy named Moses who was there to prepare. Who was the type of John the Revelator? I mean John the Baptist. Because according to the revelations of Paul, Paul said when Moses was passing with the children of Israel through the sea for three days, it was a, a, a symbol of John the Baptist baptizing the upcoming generation. I must speaking to some spiritual church here. So Moses could not take the children of Israel into Canaan. John could not take us to heaven. That's why I say Moses is a type of John. And Joshua, Yeshua, Jesus, Jesus, who was the typology of Jesus Christ, who his name meant the Lord is salvation, was typologically demonstrating Jesus. You could not go to Canaan except through Joshua. You cannot go to heaven except through Jesus. Somebody give a hand of praise. something here. That reminds us of time. So speaking about Jesus, that's what I want us to understand. Hence, it's a topical week. I believe that I'm just going to do small, small, and others are still coming. Let's go to the name Christ. Christ means the anointed of God. Christ is a spirit name. Jesus, I said, is a human name. It was the name that was given to Jesus, to, 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 to the one who was born without the spirit. But as time goes, the Bible outlines in the book of John that it said, Behold the Lamb. And when he was baptized, the spirit of God came in him. Christ came in Jesus. I speak something here. That's when we are speaking about Christ, means the anointed, the Messiah. Yeah. Okay. Let me first, I, I believe I'm, 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 I'm audible and you're understanding what I'm talking about. And then we have again, Lord. Our third dimension in the topic, Lord means master. The one who has authority is the name for God. Is the name of God. Is the name by God. Through God. With God. In God. Some wisdom. <laughs> so when we speak about the Lord, comes from the word Adonai, which is in Greek. I mean Hebrew. Which means the most important one. The Lord, Yahweh, which is Hebrew, which means Jehovah. Come on, somebody, give God a big hand of praise. Oh, and I feel like I'm tired of lecturing here. Now. We're going to have some church. So we must understand something about the Lord. Paul understood who the Lord was. The Bible outlines the Lord as the one with authority, the one with power, the one with dominion. You cannot speak about Christ without power. You cannot speak about Christ not speaking about authority. You are not going to speak about Christ. Oh, I feel like you're being a church here. You cannot speak about Christ without speaking about dominion. That's why when he created us, he said he wants us to take his nature 
He wants us to take his likeness. He wants us to take his dimension, the incorruptible seed that defines who he is. Um, and God is speaking right now and I feel something moving in this place and we are going to preach as God allows us. Um, God is defined by his wind. When there is no way you cannot define God. Somebody, am I speaking to somebody here? Remember, tell your neighbor and say J E S U S. That's the thing that I want to talk about. Let us, can we have some church here? I thought I'm going to have somebody else here in drums. Come on, somebody, can you be here if you can play? I feel like preaching in this place. I feel like preaching in this place. You know, this is a teamwork. This man got my vision, he knows. Wherever I preach, he promised me, he said, I will go with you. Okay. He's bearing the same vision with me. It's not a vision support, it's the vision bearing us. So now, when you speak about Jesus Christ, you are speaking about someone with the weight. He said, the words that I speak unto you are spirit, and they make up the manifestation of who I am. It means to know Jesus is to know the weight, and to receive power is to get the weight. That's why he said in the book, I will not leave you alone, but I leave you with a spirit that when the spirit of the Lord has come, and you will feel like preaching here, you shall have power. Somebody tell your neighbor and say power. I want to speak something in the house of the Lord, that when you got Jesus, there is something that is going to move in your belly. There is something that is going to move in your mind. You will be like you are confused. Not everyone will understand your word. And I feel like shouting here. God is in this place and we're about to preach. Some who know Jesus, they call him Yahweh. Those who know him, they call him Juva. Those who know him, they call him Shema. Those who know him, they call him Shalom. So it depends how you see him in your life. You will never call him Shalom if you have never seen peace. So there must be and I want to preach like I feel it. Come on, somebody, preach with me here. You cannot speak about Christ without power, without actions, without peace. There must be something to demonstrate him. There must be something from above that will describe the identity. And when you speak about Christ, there must be something right from the throne of God. Right from the throne of God. Because the Bible applies that we became his image. And for people to see you are the image, there must be power. There must be something from God. I will never be described or be identified as God if my character is ungodly. Can I be something? Hallelujah, somebody touch your neighbor for the first time and say, neighbor, we are still going to preach in this place. Oh, I'm going to take care of my time. I'm going to be pushing. Oh, my God, we live in this place. Oh, touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, say yes, you have. The king of Jews, that's the national king. The king of Israel, that's the racial king. The king of righteousness, the king of angels, the king of glory, the king of heavens, the king of kings, and he's the Lord of Lords. And I'm really preaching in this place. You will never know Christ except you know his way. I want to preach something in this place. He is unique. He is unparalleled. He is perplexing. You will be flabbergasted. He is peculiar. Very unusual. You can't get him out of your mind. You can't wash him off your hands. You can't get rid of him. I heard him say, I am the Lord of Lords. And every knee shall bow before me. Say he is the uncreated creator of the universe. 
creation was there in the beginning, but yet he never began. There is no time you can specify and say, God began in this day. He is the beginning and he is the end. Yet he doesn't have a beginning and he doesn't have the end. He has no predecessor. He has no successor. He existed. He's still going to exist and exist. That's J S U N. this place and we're still gonna preach like we feel it the bible outlines that every knee bows before him every name confess before him we do not care what kind of power was given to a particular name but the name we bow before the name that we worship is above all names and i want to preach this thing those who knows him better they call him Jehovah Chuva, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Erek Abahim and the other two men. about Jesus. I just want to speak about Jesus. It has nothing to do with me. It is to praise him. I just believe that this is the typical week of praise to say Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. And there is no one like him. There is no one like him. He was, he is incomparable. There is nobody who is greater than him. You might be surprised what I'm talking about. It is the time now to uplift him. Give your neighbor a high five for the second time and say, neighbor, it is God who we are talking about. He has no predecessor. He has no successor. He is the miracle of ages. He is the fundamental doctrine of fruitful eulogy. He existed before we began to exist. When I wonder if you know me, when I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, has he ever done something great in your life? Has he ever done something great in your life? Do you know him yet? Ask your neighbor and say, do you know him yet? Ask your neighbor. Shake their hand like you're going to shake it off and say, neighbor, do you know him yet? Do you know him yet? The Pharisees couldn't stand him. They couldn't found any charge against him. They couldn't find any guilt against him. He called them hypocrites who were not faithful because he was greater than everyone. He walked on water. What kind of the king is this? He walked on water. He considers the aged. He heals the sick. He cleans the liberals. I want to preach like a Philip. And if you are in a situation and you belong to him, you better holler Jesus. It's the 
end of him. You can't fully describe him. You can't come to the end of him. Jesus, you better do what you are going to do because 
for what you are going to do, you are called by God. That's why he said, let the will of God be done. And not the will of man. Not the will of man. Not the will of man. Come on, somebody, give God a big hand of break. forgiveness except for him people ain't gonna be healed and he understood that I got to stand I got to walk on water I got to do whatsoever that it takes for me to be Lord somebody it takes you to do something in order to possess that position in order to possess position in Christ somebody you got to understand this he was never called Christ just because he woke up in the morning and do none but there's something that he went through in order to become who he was you might be going through some experiences and find that you find it difficult for you who knows if it was none of those experiences you would never be where you are today some of the experiences they usher us into the place where God is looking for us can I preach it like I feel it can I preach it like I feel it let's stand up that was dropped in a box. Lift up your hands where you are. Like I, I want people who submitted a CV. Lift up your hands, the Lord of God is touching you. 
You can remove this put I'm going. Lift up your hands, somebody. Lift up your hands. The throne of God is moving upon our heads and is touching people right now as I'm talking. Father, the uncreated creator, Jehovah Jehovah, Father, start to touch them. Start to touch, start to touch. Start to touch, start to touch. Start to touch right now, start to touch. Start to touch somebody. Start to touch somebody. Let me prophesy this man and I guess. Man of God, come. You will come, yes. Yes, you. No, no. Yes. You, yes, come. Did you join preacher's desk? Did you join preacher's desk? You have been joined preacher's desk. Do you know that God is looking for you? Huh? God is telling me He is looking for you. He's in search of you. Have you ever had any? Have you ever had anything that has something to do with God calling you? Huh? You did. I'm speaking like this. I saw fire coming from the north. <laughs> Come on. I saw fire coming from the north. And Limpongo is in the north. You are coming from the north. I see the Lord taking you into the dimension. What is the connection in Limpongo? Yes. If there is nothing you know about it, just say, I don't know. Eh? You grow there. That's why I say, I saw something coming from the Lord. And the Lord is ministering to me. Shabaki, you something small small that's why I say man of God God is looking for you I'm looking at you right now and God is telling me about you come on Bible school come come can you come I will prophesy this one I go some of you will prophesy you when I meet you come somebody get here my I want to be someone's husband. To take the disgrace of the prophet. Because the Lord is ministering. Man, is it? Do not worry about what happened about your, the, your father long time back. That's why God is raising you as an icon in your family. Amen. Or else, do we have anyone else in your family? Anyone who is above you? That's, that's why I say above you. That's why I say as an icon. You understand what I'm saying? Because there is a Bible school that you went to. Okay? Listen to this. That's why I said God is looking for you. The time you dropped out in Bible school. The hand of God. I see the hand of God. The hand of God. I see. 
I saw M flying. M. <laughs> what? Mabuza is your is your son name. Have we ever spoken? No, we've never spoken. Son of God, come, I will prophesy you outside. Thank you.